United States flag, O Glory, becomes worn, torn, faded, or badly soiled, it's time to replace it with a new flag, and the old one should be retired with all the dignity and respect befitting our nation's flag. The traditional method of retirement is to incinerate the flag, but this does not mean that one should simply drop the entire flag intact into a fire. Though I disagree with burning a flag for a political statement and truly feel it is a dishonorable act, I also feel that the freedom of speech must be protected. However, today we are not burning a flag. We are retiring a symbol of America's honor, courage, and strength. A flag ceases to be a flag when it's cut into pieces. In addition, it is easier to complete, completely incinerate the flag if it's cut into smaller pieces. A flag should never be torn up like an old bed sheet. It should be cut up with the scissors or shears in a methodical manner. The corners of the flag should be stretched over a tabletop and someone should remove the blue field from the stars and the stripes. The U.S. flag is more than just some brightly colored cloth. It's a symbol of our nation. Seven red stripes and six white strips together represent the original 13 colonies that gained us liberty. The red stripes remind us of the life blood of brave men and women who are ready to die for this, their country. The white stripes mean the purity and cleanliness of purpose. No word spot were that. The blue is for trust and justice, like the internal blue of the star filled heaven. The stars represent the 50 sovereign states of our union, the American creed states. It is my duty to my country to love it, to respect its constitution, to obey its laws, to respect its flag, and to defend it against all enemies. The U.S. flag should be treated with respect when it is flying, and should be treated with respect when it is being retired. Therefore, we retire flags with the dignity and respect when they become worn, torn, faded, or badly soiled. A flag ceases to be a flag when it is cut into pieces. We separate the 13 stripes and rep that represent the 13 original colonies and the 50 stars to pay homage to the 50 states that together make up the great, this great nation. And now we just toss them in the fire. Well, to continue our Veterans Day salute on Mike Care Presents, let's take a look at yet another great patriotic event taking place in the community. On Monday, June 14th, 2010, Flag Day, the Woodridge Veterans of Foreign Wars Memorial Post 1578 at the Woodridge Park District's Hawthorne House was putting on its annual American Flag Retirement Ceremony. When American Flag flies proudly, after a while it could become worn, tattered, and or ripped. When that happens, the flag needs to be properly retired. The Woodard VFW throughout the year collects flags community members wish to have retired. They can drop off these flags at the Woodridge Police Station into a specially decorated retired U.S. mailbox. Flags should never be thrown out with the garbage. Today, all these flags are being retired. First having the blue and red and white stripes separated by being cut with scissors. Once this is done, it is no longer an American flag and then could be burned in a fire because it is just a piece of cloth. A short ceremony was put on first, then Woodridge VFW members, as well as their friends and family, as well as members of the Woodridge Lyle Fire Department, Woodridge Police Department, and other members of the community properly retired flags. So over 900 flags were properly retired with the dignity and respect they truly deserve. For more information on the Woodridge VFW, please take note of your screen. God bless America.